I'm gonna put that in there. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answer to no man, I still go, go, go. All right, first off, I wanna thank Super Clean for reaching out to me and being a sponsor to my channel. Uh, they make great products. You can use on many different things. I'm gonna put that in there using the stock battery tray. All right, welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm going to be making a battery mount in the trunk using the stock battery tray. I have to make a little spacer right here to make this a little higher so it's even with these. First, this thing is filthy. I'm gonna use some super clean to get it clean. Way better. Just a couple minutes and uh, she's way cleaner. All right, let's uh, get this thing mounted up in the trunk. All right, for the spacer to make this more flush, I have an old socket and this uh, metal washer thing. I think it's like a fairing or something I can't remember but I'm going to weld it on there because this is like the perfect spacing so yeah my trusty titanium MIG 140 all right so far I have the bolts just come through here you got two holes drilled and then a little washer for spacing and then the other piece that I cut and welded to make up for the slant on the back. This will sit. This will sit right about in there. And then uh, I'll have another mounting for the battery going to the body also. So this is pretty much just for the battery to sit in. So it will be pretty secure until I can get a better battery tray or somebody sponsors me one, that'd be cool. But for the time being, this will work. Unfortunately, my battery is dead. So, and it's like six degrees out right now. It's so cold here in Wisconsin, so I don't know if I'm gonna go buy a new battery yet. I might just wait a little bit. But yeah, that's where we're at so far. All right, pretty much got it all mounted up using the three spots that they bolts up at the factory when it's under the hood. I mean, this thing is, is sturdy. I got washers from underneath, Loctite. So yeah, that should, uh, that should suffice. Now I'm gonna try to fit the rest of the stuff in here, try to make it look a little bit better. All right, so now I got this spare tire thing with that in there. I'm just kind of bending it up to see what that is to see where I need to cut it. Using a Sharpie to mark. Remember, just cut a little bit, and then check it, and then a little bit. Just go little by little, because you, you cut too much in the first time. That's it, that's what you get. So uh, yeah, let's get doing that. All right, got that trimmed up and fitting in there pretty good. Power cable coming from over there on the ground here. 
Still don't know what I'm going to put over here in this little cubby. Yeah, there she is. Super solid. I don't have the uh, the tie-down part on there yet, but it's because this battery is dead. Well, all right. I think that's going to do it for this video. Next video, hopefully they should be here soon. The uh, LED lights for the interior. They had sent me the wrong ones before, so just waiting on that. Stay tuned for the next video.